All right, here we have uh, something that just came in the mail right now, the uh, Pal Kitty A20. It's a brand new handheld. And we're gonna open it up and we're gonna check it out. Do a little size comparison here. And apparently this one is a lot more powerful. And you can see the little indentation of the joystick right there. And I'm a little excited about this hand hope because apparently it's capable of doing a lot more than a standard handheld. Uh, I mainly want to try some Sega Saturn stuff on this thing because it has the perfect button layout. And there we go, we got the manual charging cord, nothing fancy in here, no screen protectors, no uh, dried up alcohol wipes like the Ambernic handhelds. All right, let's put this down here. And right, let's open this up and let's see what we have here. All right, right away. Uh, okay, right away we uh, appear to have some uh, fingerprints on this thing. Is it my fingerprints or is that someone else's fingerprints? I don't think those are my fingerprints. I think those are someone else's. See, I'm pushing down on this thing. I don't think I have fingerprints on this thing yet. So it looks like we have someone's uh, DNA on my handheld before I even played it. This definitely feels like it can make your your hands sweat quite a bit. You know, you've probably seen videos on this already. And that's one thing that people complained about. Uh, the buttons feel okay. This, this D-pad feels kind of tight. feels really tight. feels different than uh, the other uh, Pal Kitties. Very clicky. And uh, the uh, screen cover here looks kind of scratched up and not so good. Let's take it off and let's see what we've got here. I'm going to dive right in. First, let's do a little size comparison, and since this looks like a Game Boy, let's go grab a Game Boy. Let's uh, stand by for a second. We'll grab a Game Boy. And what we'll do is we will grab a uh, Sega Saturn game. Since we are doing a comparison here, this is what a standard regular Game Boy looks like next to this thing. And they're pretty close to the same size, almost. This thing's a little bit smaller. And of course, my Game Boy's pretty thick. Look at that thing. Look how thick the Game Boy is next to this thing. It's pretty thick. This thing is not that thick. It's pretty small. This thing feels like it's built of quality, pretty heavy. Weighs probably a, a pound. This thing, not so much. Uh, I'm not saying that this thing's not built in quality, but it probably is. It's probably pretty decent. We're gonna definitely check it out. And there's a a comparison of what a Sega Saturn game looks like next to it. Which is one thing I, I hopefully we can play some Sega Saturn games on this. I probably won't be doing that in this video. Uh, but you see, it's almost the same length right there. Yeah, this is the same size of, of a PlayStation case as well. So and this is a pretty expensive game, so I'm going to put it back. I don't want it to get cracked or anything funny happening to it. All right, let's uh, check out the uh, volume buttons. There's volume up, volume down. Got the shoulder buttons here. All right, let's push the power button on this. We'll see exactly what we get. All right, so right away we got the power kitty. I have no idea what size memory card is in here, to be honest. Man, this will be perfect for playing uh, Sega Saturn games. You have the perfect button we got right here. And check out the fancy boot screen right there. That thing is fancy. Kind of like a slight animation. You 
Okay, let's get a little sight of the uh, the Game Boy right there. Let's see what we have here. How the, how the hell do we navigate through this thing? Alright, we got Dreamcast. We have the N64. I guess we can just dive right into the N64 right away. Let's test something out. Let's we'll see if... Um, there's a ton of N64 games here. There's one game in particular that usually doesn't work properly. It's Cruising USA. And I don't think it's here. Unless I'm blind. <laughs> Banjo Bear Adventure 2. Okay, let's uh, try that out, I guess. Um, so, let's see. A is enter. Let's see if we can go back into this game. ROM is not found. What? Are you kidding me? All right, let's uh, zoom out here. Let's check this out again. I, apparently, the ROM is not found. The ROM is, is there a memory card in this thing? Yeah, there is. And uh, Okay, so there is a memory card in here. Oh, this is annoying. Look at this. How do you get this thing back in there? Oh my god, oh wow. Well. I accidentally turned it off while I'm doing this. I can stay like that. ROM is not found. Are any of these ROMs on here? Okay, apparently the N64 ROMs are like non existent. That sucks. Alright, PlayStation ROMs. Uh, there's nothing really spectacular here. Variant Fighter, what is this? ROM is not found? Come on, man. Are you kidding me? So there's like nothing on here that's working? Neo Geo. Let's uh, play some Neo Geo games. Let's see if this works. ROM is not found. What the hell? All right, what about CPS-1? Okay, that's pretty loud. Hey, the volume actually looks pretty good on this. Burnout Legends, I guess. Let's check that out. Let's see if this actually plays. Prom is not found. What? Is there anything on here? Rom is not found. Trinkast? Rom is not found. Wow. I guess we're not playing anything today, guys. Let's, uh... Well, there was... Apparently this one's working. Let's see. Some of these arcade emulators are set up properly. All right, we can play an arcade game. This is weird because I, I've seen other videos of this handheld um, being unboxed by other people, and they I don't I don't think they've had that issue. Well, apparently, ROM is not found. Let's play this uh, this game right here. It's not really putting this thing to its uh, full potential. I guess we can test out the uh, controls at least. All right, let's let's play. Let's play. This feels like a Nintendo Switch D, uh, joystick. Definitely much better than the Playgo one. Yeah! Alright, this feels pretty good. Kind of like it. So far. Did 
the D pad's very clicky and stiff. I think that it definitely had much better D pads than the other handhelds, but for some reason, uh, that's what they have on this one. Alright, let's exit the game here. I wonder if they have any, anything like Street Fighter on here. Tell, oh, yeah, here we go. We're gonna be testing the D pad out. Alright, we're gonna put that D pad to the test. Let's do it. I'm guessing that we're probably gonna have to wait until there's some uh, some custom firmware in this thing. See the what how the screen looks here. All right, here we go. Let's give it a test. If I can get some Sega Saturn games working on this thing, that would be great. What the hell? Whoa, this dude has bad. Hold on a second. This D-pad definitely needs to be broken in. Um, I don't like this D-pad. This D-pad sucks. <laughs> it's very, very stiff. So if you're playing games like Street Fighter, you're probably not going to be a fan of uh, this D-pad and this handheld. It's a shame. You can get by with the joystick, though. Joystick works great. It's a good thing you can use the joystick. I can't pull off all you cans on how to do with the joystick as well as the D-pad, but this D-pad is it's not not that good. It doesn't pass my inspection as far as all you cans and how to do cans go. It uh it's not good for that type of stuff. I wonder if there's any other uh games we can play on this thing. Can we even play any of these? Let's find out. Nope. ROM's not found. ROM's not found. Is there anything on here that I can play besides that? <laughs> ROM's not found. Like nothing's on here. There's a, there's a list of games. I'm curious to know what the hell happened here. We got some Sega Genesis games. We, I, we can't even play those, I don't think. Nope. Wow, what a, what a thud. Or a dud, that is. It's a dud. D-U-D, dud. This is what this handheld is so far. Oh my god, look at this. PSP. I would love to play a PSP game on here. Just, that'd be nice to actually... Uh, Alright, so I'm assuming that these are the only thing. Let me see. Let's go down the list here. Is there anything else installed on this thing? It's all arcade ROMs. And they're not found. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, there's. Apparently one memory card inside this thing. And it sucks. It, it didn't come preloaded like it said it would, as far as I know. 
Uh, you're going to have to probably add your own stuff onto this, or hopefully there's new firmware that comes out. It's, uh, my experience with this handheld is not too impressed by it so far. I can't even play uh, any uh, PSP games or anything on it. It's just, it's just, they're not here. I don't even know what the hell I just did. What is... Okay. Yeah, so... That's pretty much it. And it's the Power Kitty A20. Uh, so, just be prepared. If you do get it, you're going to have to load your own stuff on that. And, uh... Honestly, I would probably prefer it that way anyways, but... Uh, for some people, that's going to suck, because... They're probably not going to be used to, some people are not, not that handy enough to actually load up these handouts. So they're probably expecting to see this stuff already on here. So if you're one of those people, um, you're not going to be able to do that. And as you can see here, there is apparently Android on this thing. And it looks like, is there Wi-Fi? I don't know if there's Wi-Fi in this thing or not. Oh yeah, I don't think there's a Wi-Fi adapter, so... There's probably a way of getting out of here. Let's click home, click back. So more than likely you're going to have to use like a USB-C to um, USB converter and plug in uh, like a Wi-Fi adapter or something. And there is a media player here. Just for the hell of it, let's uh, see what they have on the actual machine. No files found. All right, how do, how do we go back? Is this touch screen? Nope. Well, apparently there's nothing on here, so. This thing, uh, here's the file explorer. Let's, let's see if there's actually ROMs on this thing. Alright, games. I'm assuming that the games are probably in here somewhere. Alright, yeah, so CPS1. And there's the ROMs. Apparently, there's only those on there, and that's it. There's, there's no, uh, nothing else. So be forewarned that. When you get this console, uh, you're going to have to load it up. Alright, what, what is in here? Alright, there's nothing in here. This is a pretty much an empty Android operating system. And that is it. I don't think you can do anything else on this thing. All right, uh, let's see, how do we turn this off? Let's see, is this the off button right here? All right, here we go. There we go, we, I guess you hold on the, uh, feels like it's getting warm too. So yeah, that's the, uh, how Kitty A20. Uh, yeah. Can't really show off much on that thing. I mean, it's that's how it got shipped to me, just like that. I mean, what exactly is inside this thing as far as the memory card goes? Let's find out. It is a 64 gig memory card. 
All right, let's see if we can zoom in on this thing. Maybe not. Well, it's a 64 gig memory card, like a cheap one. What happens when you turn it on without the memory card? Let's find out. Is this like really built into it or something? Or Yeah, so there's probably another memory card on the inside of this thing. So you probably have to take the screws out and get inside just to change out the operating system. So here you go, that's the uh, 64 gig memory card. All right, not too impressed by this thing. Uh, it's, well, looks like we don't have anything here. I guess maybe that's it. I'm gonna do a shutdown. Yeah, this handheld is not my favorite handheld. I'm going to show you my favorite uh, Pow Kitty handheld. All right, this one right here, I believe this one's the RGB 20 or something like that. This is my favorite Pow Kitty handheld. And uh, yeah, the processor in this thing's old and people get aggravated when Pow Kitty makes handhelds with that processor in it. Uh, but you know what? It actually works pretty well. You can see that this one does have some smudges on it. Kind of similar to this. Kind of feels the same. Uh, but yeah, I like this thing a lot. This thing. I have Arc OS in this. So as soon as you turn it on, and this is what it looks like. And sure, it's not as powerful as this thing, but at least it's comfortable. The D pad feels great on this. And you, at least you know what you're getting here. So you can go in, you can play something. Uh, we'll take this for example and the interface is really nice on this this is a nice handheld probably uh, my favorite pow kitty handheld i know it looks strange but this is my favorite this one i'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit more uh but i'm a little I'm a little disappointed. I, I'm not, not a big fan of that one, but uh, we'll see exactly what happens. Uh, maybe there might be a custom firmware that might come out that might might make it better. Who knows? But yeah, that is the Pal Kitty A20. Uh, if you guys do buy one, uh, this who knows? You might end up with stuff on your memory card. In my case, I did not. So stay tuned for another episode of Gaming Police Empire memory lane and don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe and let me know what you think because uh, there will be more handhelds coming and we'll see exactly what comes next who knows <laughs>